sustainable, ethical underwear. Let's talk about it. Hi, how are you? Hope you're well. So I have been talking a lot again about giving up fast fashion. I have a video on my channel, a couple of videos actually, if you want to check them out about me giving up fast fashion initially, what that process was like, and also some other kind of sustainable ethical swaps that maybe you can make. And this is another addition to that series in particular, because the one thing that I'm always, 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 always asked about when I bring up the fact that I gave up fast fashion is what do you do about underwear? And I think people, some people kind of say it as like a, a catch 21. Is that what that expression is called? I think they kind of say it to try and catch me out or there's an expectation there that, I don't know, I think when I say that I've given up fast fashion, they try to like hold it over my head as if to be like, what if, what if you were about to piss yourself and you, you were two seconds away from a pennies and you were imminently about to wee yourself, what would you do? And the obvious answer is, I would buy the underwear, Carol. I would buy the underwear and I wouldn't feel horrifically guilty about it if my bladder was literally about to explode. Thankfully, I haven't been in that situation yet and hopefully I never will be, but if I am, no shame in the game. My whole ethos with being more sustainable with fashion and stuff is buy less. It's not about swapping everything with sustainable, ethical alternatives. It's about shopping less where possible. Underwear is different to something like a t-shirt or a jacket or a pair of jeans. Like you don't see many people doing underwear hauls. I'm sure some people do them, but it's not comparable in that way. Obviously you go through underwear quicker than you would any of the other items of clothing I mentioned. So it makes sense that you would want something that's available as cheaply as possible and that you can get quickly. With that said, and as I mentioned, I am trying to make ethical and sustainable swaps where I can and I'm trying to do them so that I can try them for you and show you what they're like and you can decide then uh, if you can afford them or you're in a position where you want to try them yourself you're like okay I'm gonna bite the bullet and do it. So I was in the market for some new pairs of underwear and I decided to buy some from Organic Basics. Uh, that's a brand that I've reviewed on here before, I've reviewed their bras. I'm actually wearing one today I really rate them. I think in the video I said, I wish I'd gone for a different style. I kind of go back on that now. I do actually really love this style and they've washed so well and they're still so comfortable. But I am definitely gonna go back and buy more styles, but I don't need to right now. I have enough bras. Nobody needs that many bras. That's all I'll say on that. Anyway, underwear, let's get to it. I got two different styles, I think. Let me show you how they came first of all and we'll get into the nitty gritty then. So this is how they'll arrive. There is a gap in the back there, so you can like touch the, oh, I got stuck, the fabric for yourself. I bought these online, so that's actually not really beneficial to me, but I suppose if you did see them in the store, it would be interesting. The underwear itself. Now, obviously I've unfolded these, but these were the Invisible Cheeky Briefs two pack medium black. I got a couple of other styles, but as I said, I'll go through it. But they'll arrive like this and the one thing that I do always love about Organic Basics is that the materials like down to this, the pins they use are metal, everything is pinned or tied where possible so there's no necessarily like plastic or anything like that. Just so you can see this. Ooh. Ah. Fab. So with regards to what I bought then, let me grab my phone. Organic Basics order. So here is what I bought. I bought the organic cotton hipster two pack in white, in size medium, and that was 39 euro. And then I also got a two pack of the invisible cheeky thong in the shade Oak. They're like a nude color. They were 27 euro. And then the ones I just showed you there, the invisible cheeky briefs two pack in black, size medium, 27 euro. So all together, shipping was free, 93 euro for how many pairs of underwear is that? Six. So that is, oh Jesus Christ, why am I doing math on camera again? 93 euro, oh, right, 93 euro divided by six. Roughly 15 euro per piece of underwear, which I suppose if you were buying a nice, like kind of sexy thong or something like that, you probably could pay that. Um, But it's not comparable to your, you know, the one euro thong from a giant retailer that I've already mentioned in this video. Let's get into the actual knickers themselves, right? So here we have 
Let's open this bad boy back out again. This is the Invisible Cheeky Brief in black. I have not worn this one. So when I did open these right, they are mega thin. I don't know if you can see that at all from even just like stretching them out. They are so thin. I wanted the Invisible ones just with uh, work. Um, and to have the option if I was wearing like a tighter dress that I wasn't getting a super visible line. They sit quite high waisted, but they're not like super full coverage on the bum, if that makes sense. When I did open these, I'm going to be honest, I was, I was like, oh, these are like the, the underwear you wear when you get a spray tan done. They are just so, <laughs> so thin. Good stretch. Um, they're really soft. Really, really soft, I will say. I'm not gonna try them on. Likewise to the Brad video. Can't afford it. So fab. So that's that particular style. Um, just to show you the others. I'm pretty sure this is the same style, but it's, um, as I said, but it's just in the nude color. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a, a thong in the back. So these are the nudie ones, or oak, because we can't describe things as nude. We're glamorous girls. And again, same kind of crack. So, no pun intended, so thin like so so thin feels great on that's the coverage at the back that's the thong coverage if anyone is curious about that my editor is gonna feel good with this great stretch again i w i don't even actually know why i got the thongs i don't love the feeling of thongs but this is like a bigger thong so i don't really mind i think again i bought it for maybe work depending on if i was wearing certain things or whatever but yeah that's them. You have all the wash information there if you want to see that and like more about the product. If that's going to focus. And then, that's my other pair, my, the black cheekies. And then these are the organic cotton hipster. These are probably my least fave from a personal perspective because they, again, they come up quite high um, and I prefer kind of a little bit of fuller coverage on the bum. They feel very nice. The quality is the exact same. Mega good. You got good stretch in the waistband there. Um, I got a medium and everything and everything fits. I've washed them all since. Obviously, bar that one that still has the tag. They wash really well. These ones probably wash slightly better. I will say, like, these are already, you know, that way that, like, I know, I think this is, especially particularly with, like, with white articles of clothing, like, the minute they wash once, it's like, you're done. You're dushed. My overall review, I do really like them. I'm definitely going to repurchase, especially the kind of slinkier pairs. The thicker pairs, I'd see, I'm gonna see if I can get them in, in different cuts and I will link to everything down below. Oh, I definitely repurchase. Again, obviously there's a cost factor there. They're not cheap, but I do think these will last longer than we'll say underwear that is kind of more quickly, cheaply made, mass produced. I don't know, I always found with my fast fashion underwear with, there's a couple of brands that are exceptions, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, I just felt they were more prone to ripping and they wouldn't last as well in the washing machine or the dryer, just generally because of how cheaply and quickly they were made. If you're not in a position to spend that much money at the minute, I completely understand one brand that is technically considered fast fashion and operates on the high street is Marks and Spencers. And I've always, shouted out them before they have an okay environmental rating if you check on good on you it's a directory i use to check out brands to see how good they actually are when it comes to things like labor environment animals water usage etc etc um and they tend to come out pretty well with regards to or in the wider conversation around fast fashion and outlets that we normally associate with fast fashion and uh i've bought tights and stuff from them before if you're familiar with MS, you know like the quality is a little bit better than your standard, your standard high street, something a little bit cheaper. You obviously do pay a little bit more for that reason, but it's worth it and they will last. So one to check out if you're trying to be a little, a little bit more ethically minded with regards to every part of your wardrobe. So yeah, that's me literally showing you my underwear. Never thought that would happen. Um, any other questions about getting on fast fashion, making choices, uh, shopping brands please let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see my video on my wardrobe and everything that i've bought my full kind of journey there is coming i promise just wait for it 
Uh, if you like this, please subscribe. And I'm everywhere else at Fernanda J on all the other socials. And yeah, until the next time. Bye.